Now we're going to go through creating your own template. So if we jump into our MailChimp account here and click on templates, you'll have a list of where your templates will show up. Obviously we have no templates yet because we haven't created one. If we click create template at the top right here, this will begin the template process. Now you will notice you can use themed templates or you can code your own. But what we're going to do is use MailChimp's basic drag and drop templates and customize that to our liking. So you can select any particular one that you want here. And what we're going to go through in this demo will still be relevant to whichever template you pick. In this case, we're going to pick one and three columns. If we click select, that will then take us to the next page where we get to use the drag and drop interface. Now we can begin designing our template. Now remember that this is a template, so we're not too worried about content. We're more worried about how it looks. So the first thing that we need to do is put in our branding. So if we click on the browse button at the header image here, we can then upload our logo and customize it to our liking. So I'm going to open up my help cluster logo here. Now you'll see that that is quite big. Now I don't like the look of that because it, to me it looks too big. So if I click once on the image, you'll see all the options come up on the right hand side here. If I click edit, what I can do is resize the image here. I'm going to click resize and I can resize it down to be 300 pixels wide. Now the reason I want to do this is because that will look much more crisper and appropriate for this email template. Perfect. Now that I've uploaded my header, what I'm going to do is look at the design elements. Now remember at the start of these video tutorials, I said you should have your hex codes. Now I've got the hex color codes here. So what I want to do is customize this email template to match those hex codes. Now the way I do that is by clicking on the design over here and then I have all these options that I can go through. So if I click on page, you'll notice that the background color is there. So we're going to make that background color black or blue or red, whichever color we want. Now because we do have our hex codes here, we want to make it the gray that help cluster uses, which is 444444. 444. And you can see that's made a nice gray for us there. Next, we have heading one. Now MailChimp has four different heading styles. So for the first one, we're gonna make it our help cluster blue. So if I put the hex code for help cluster blue in here and press enter, you'll see that that has turned blue. Now, actually, I don't really like the blue, so I'm actually gonna make it the pink. So again, if I put that hex code in here, it will change it to pink. So I'm gonna make heading one and heading two pink. And then I'm going to make heading three and heading four. I think I'll make them the blue. So if I jump into heading three here, put that hex code in and the same with heading four, you know, those colors will then be reflected. Now you can go through and change the font and the font size if you want, but we're not going to do that in this exercise. Now, if we click save, that's our headings done. Next, we can click on our pre header here. Now the pre header is a little bit up the top here. Now sometimes you might want to leave that white, sometimes you might want to change that background to be the same as the top, and we're going to change the text color to be white. There we go, and if we scroll down we'll also see a link color, and we're going to make that white as well. So you can see what we're doing here is just really customizing the email to look really good with our brand and our colors. So now I'm going to have a look at the body here. Now, the background for the body is white. Now, I'm going to keep it white, but just to show you, if you wanted to make it blue, you could make it blue. You know, so we're just going to keep that as white. Now, the body text, now that's in a grayish color at the moment. Now, that's not our gray. We could leave that as is, but I'm going to make it our gray because that's the gray that we really want. Now, if we scroll down, we'll also see links. Now, links are in that funny blue. I don't want them to be in that funny blue. I'm going to change them to be in our green. So I'm going to put our green hex code in there and you'll see I've got that green color coming up when there's a link. Now I'm going to click save on that one and the next thing I'm going to look at is columns. Now columns are what these things are here. So if we need to change the background of those, again we could change that up here if we wanted to. But we're going to leave that as white. Now again, the column text, we're going to change that to our gray which is six fours in a row. And the link color, we're going to make that our green again. I'm just going to paste that in there. And again with this one. 
and we're going to save that one. Next we've got our footer. Now our footer is required to have our mailing address for spam purposes and the unsubscribe information. So although it is white here, what we could do is change it to blend in with the background a bit more so it separates it from the actual content. So if we go 444, 444 as the background color, you'll see it kind of blends in with the rest of the background here rather than actually standing out in the white. And then we can make the text color be white, so that's FFF, FFF. And our link color here, I'm going to go FFF, FFF, and there we have it. If we click save, that's our footer done. Now you can also play around with mobile styling and monkey rewards, but we're not going to go to them for the purpose of this email. Now that we've finished our template, we can click on the preview and test button up here and send ourselves a test email if we wanted to. So I can send that to nmidfield at gmail.com and hit send test and that will send me a test email so I can see what it looks like in an actual email. So if we jump into our email here and go back to our inbox and hit refresh, we'll see that email there. And that's what it's going to look like. If we click display images, we'll actually see our logo in there and that looks pretty schmick. Now if we jump back to our email template design here, what we can now do is click save and exit down the bottom and save this template. And now we've completed our template design.